Good evening, good evening. This is West Game Tips and Tricks. I am your host, Mickey Freeman. And today's video, we're going to discuss gems and gear. So, let's get started and click on our sheriff over here. And I'm going to work within my presets. Okay, let's look at this right here. Now, I have four presets. One for defense, one for ranged, one for cavalry, and one for economics. Now, I want to first start with my economics preset and explain a few things so that everybody understands exactly how a preset works, especially one that you can use for multiple use. So let's click on my research train and build preset. And right over here, I'm gonna click this while I'm in this field here. And I'm gonna click skill preset and I want you to notice that the only ones that you're going to see maxed out are those that are relevant to economics building, research, construction, and training. So you see, these are maxed, and this one is maxed. And as you slide down, you see that each of these others, this one, this one, this, you see each of these have a bare minimum of five each. Why five? Because five is all it takes to progress to the next skill and open it up and what I've done is I have maxed out research to training to gathering to construction to gathering one training one research one and construction one what this does is allows me to use this single preset for any economics that I'm doing. Now, the gear itself, the way that I have it set up, with my three Reno's watches, each of these are training pieces, okay? And then I've got my single barrel shotgun, Reno's boots and plated coat. These are construction items. And then the last item that I have here is my decorated slouch hat. This is a research item. Now the way this works is because my skills are set up to maximize construction, research, and training, anytime I want to do one particular task, all I have to do is change up my gear. Because I'm set with my three training items in here, this is the preset I use when I train my troops. But if I want to do a building upgrade, it's just as simple as trading out a few pieces of gear. Okay? And this is how you do this. You click on your sheriff. You click here. You click your preset, which is number four. You see here research train and build I am going to click number four and spend gold to swap it and that now has applied this preset to my skills okay but I don't want to do training I want to do construction so let's look right over here and look what our current sheriff boosts are my sheriff construction boost is 132.1 percent okay so i'm going to swap out a few pieces of gear here and i'm going to throw my gold divider which is 6.4 percent i'm gonna look at that one okay let's see the golden quill pin is 16 percent construction speed um 
the quill pin is 11.5 construction speed. What else do we have here? That looks like about it for construction. The binded book does give 1.5%, but it is not enough of a boost to worry about, okay? My magnifiers are research, so that is where we're at. So let's go ahead, and the first thing we'll do is put on our golden quill pen. Swap out one gear item for that. You see here, okay? So next I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to put my quill pin in there. And lastly, I'm going to click on the third one. And I want the best I can get. The gold divider here. This one gives me 8.9% in blue. And in green, it gives me 6.4. So let's go ahead and use this blue gold divider. Now, let's see what our sheriff skill is. And the way we do this is just by clicking this arrow right here in the corner, okay? So I click this arrow, and my construction speed has gained 30-something points. It was 132, I believe. Now we're at 168. So just changing out a few pieces of gear using a single preset, we're able to increase our attributes for that, okay? Now, we're going to ignore this construction. I want you to look at this research right here, 131.2. Do you see this? All right. So now let's go back over here to our gear again. And remember, this preset has construction, research, training, and gathering maxed out. So instead of these construction items, let's put some research items in, okay? Our binded book at green quality has a 4.6 research speed. The golden magnifier at blue quality has an 8%. The golden magnifier at purple has 11.2%. And here's another golden magnifier. A binded book in purple, level 5, is 14.4%. Now this necklace does have a little bit of research, but it's minutes. And you don't really want to use any items that give a reduction in minutes. Because as you advance in your level and you get to your 9s and 10s, especially in your research trees, 8 minutes is nothing off of a 500-day research. It really doesn't make a difference. So... This is just one of the pieces that's given to you at the beginning of the game, and it's very easy to level up. But you can get rid of these things, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and click on this one, and I'm going to hit details, and I'm going to dismantle it. It's going to give me a nice piece of quality. It gives me a level 6 cloth. That's really good. I can use that in something else. So, look at this gear again. Let's get rid of these construction items. Let's throw our purple binded book on there and get 14.4 percent and let's throw our purple golden magnifier in there and get another 11.2 percent and let's get rid of this one and put our other purple magnifier in there and get another 11.2 percent okay now i already know that my plated coat and my reno's boat boots and my single barrel shotgun are construction items so let's see what I have that I can replace those with. I'm going to look right in here. And I have a hickory cane. My hickory cane gives me 12% research speed. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to click on my boots. And the only thing I have for boots that's going to give me a research boost is going to be these old leather, old leather boots. And it's only 12 minutes. But there are no other boots in the game that give a research time reduction. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use it in this instance. Click on my plated coat. And you see I do not have anything in here that will help with research. Because the only item in the game that allows a research or, per, or provides a research reduction is the cotton coat. And it's like 2%. 
Um, and the decorated slouch hat is already a research item. This one here, it is a research item. If you click and look at it, it is 18.8%. Okay. So now let's go back and look at our skills again. And if you recall, recall it was 131% before we changed these out. So let's see where we're at now. Research speed is now 172%. So we've gained 41% just by changing out a few items. So let's pretend that we've completed our research and got some cues going. And now we want to go back and train more troops. Okay, so what do you do? You simply go right here because we're using the same preset for all economics. And now you're going to change out the items that allow you a troop training speed reduction. Let me find my third Reno's watch. My Reno's watch gives 4.6% training speed reduction at level 3 or green, green quality. And our training speed is now... 100. Okay, where's my training? There we go. 148%. We know we just added a little bit over 12% with those three items. So prior to this, it was about a 136 or, or a little bit less. So this right here is a method that you can use to allow you to use a single preset and be able to change back and forth between different pieces of gear. and get the most out of that preset okay so let's go back and look at some of our other things now um i'm gonna click right here in the top no 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 come on go right here Open up my pin there. There we go. Right there. See that? I'm going to click on edit preset. And let's look at the different presets we have. Calvary, ranged, and defense. Now the reason I do not have an infantry preset is because I don't have a lot of infantry gear. But I do have ranged gear and I do have cavalry gear. When it comes to making a base... You always want to do what's best for your own account based upon your ability and, and what items you have. But you also want to take into consideration the needs of your alliance. And if you have somebody or a couple somebodies that have a very good infantry or a very good cavalry, but you guys don't have a very good ranged guy, well, if you have that ability, then probably... Go ahead and want to build that range. And that's why I have this range set here. Because my alliance needed somebody with a good range. Okay. So when we go in here and we click on our skill preset. You're going to see that I have range attack 1 maxed out. Troop life 1 maxed out. Range attack 2 maxed out. Troop defense 2 and troop life 2 maxed out. I have taken the additional points and I've placed them into infantry attack 2, a few of them in cavalry attack 2, a little bit in infantry attack 1, and a little bit in cavalry attack 1. Why? Just because I didn't have anywhere else to put them and I don't like having numbers icons on the side of my screen. What I may eventually do is set this preset up much in the same way that my economics preset is set up and specialize it for simply two types of troops i might max out ranged and cavalry on this one preset so that all i will have to do at that point in time is just as with my economics preset when i am set up in one of these others 
By maximizing only two troop types, such as ranged and cavalry, all I will have to do is change out my gear from ranged gear to cavalry gear, and I will have a complete preset set up, therefore freeing up another preset to create another set of attack gear, okay? Let's talk gems. In my ranged gear, we're going to click on each individual item and look at what I have. In my Bermuda Sombrero, I have three crystals. I have ranged attack in my first crystal right here. My second crystal gives ranged and cav. It is a split gem. And my third attack, my third gem gives me troop life. Why did I do this instead of putting defense in here? Well, it is possible to attack using defense. And it will reduce the amount of troops you lose in the battle. Yes, defense does work while attacking. I have done tests for this. I have screenshots to prove it. And one day I might be able to make a video with some PowerPoint slides showing and demonstrating and explaining how this works. But for the purpose of attacking as I am doing, I just want to increase my attack as much as possible to kill as many troops as I possibly can in the defender so I've used a straight ranged attack gem and a split gem this split gem is called the crystal of flame bast flame bast flame blast excuse me and it provides 6% range and 6% cavalry attack okay Go back over here and look at my second piece of gear, which is going to be my Tribal Warrior's Cloak. We'll look at the details. And again, you see that my crystals are ranged attack, a split ranged in cavalry attack, and a troop life. Okay? We'll go look at my third piece in the set, which are my Tribal Warrior's Boots. And look again and see that I have ranged attack as number one. My second gem is infantry and ranged this time. And again, another troop life. Okay, so here I'm going to look at this second gem. I want y'all to see this here. Okay, this one right here is called a crystal of bandit. It gives ranged and infantry attack. Why did I do this? Because I am maximizing as much ranged attack as I possibly can. Now, if I wanted to increase my attack even more, I could remove this troop life gem right here, which gives me 12% troop life. And I could embed another crystal that has infantry and cavalry attack. Boosting, I'm sorry, ranged and cavalry attack. And boost up my range attack with even a few more points, okay? I don't have one to put in there because it's currently being used in my cavalry gear. I'm still working on this gear and this is not my account. This is a friend's account that is allowing me to use his account for this video. And... He has asked me to take a look at some things and see what I can improve for him. I've already done quite a bit of work in here, which are the results that you're seeing now. I'll show you in a moment what you should never do. Okay. To continue on, we'll look at my Tribal Warriors amulet and see range attack, troop defense, and troop life. Why do I have a defense gem in there? Because I don't put anything less than level 4 quality gems into gear. So, 
I have a level three split gem in there, but if I were to take this defense gem out, which gives me 12% troop defense, the level three split gem is only going to give me an additional 4% to my attack. And I would rather have 12% more defense than I would have 4% attack. Okay. Let's look at the next item here. And we have my Remington 1858. Now let's compare the Remington 1858 to my Tribal Warrior Arrow. I want you to see here that the base stats of the Tribal Warrior Arrow at blue quality is 16.4%. Troop attack is 4.7, troop defense is 4.7, and ranged life is 4.7. If we go back over here, and look at our Remington model 1858, we see that we have 22.8% ranged attack, 11.4% troop load, and 34%, I'm sorry, 34% troop load and 11% artillery. This weapon here at 22.8% has a slightly higher boost than the ranged attack in the tribal warriors arrow at 16.4 however is the addition if you add the additional 4.7 percent in you will be at 21.1 percent which is only a slight bit lower than the other one but it gives you an additional boost of troop defense and ranged life so what i'm going to do here is I am going to replace the Remington 1858 with the Tribal Warriors Arrow. I'm then going to go over here to my Remington 1858 and I'm going to pull this level 5 gem here. This is a level 5 ranged attack gem. It's 18%. I've also got this Troop Life Crystal and this Crystal of Bandit. Okay. So I'm going to pull both of these and I'm going to spend this gold. To do so. And I'm going to go right back over here to my tribal warriors arrow. And I'm going to let's see what we have. Let's look at these items. And I see that my Bermuda Sombrero, hold on, this one, the Bermuda Sombrero, and the Tribal Warrior Arrow both have level 4 gems. And you can tell because of the way that they sit and how big they are in the display here. So either one of these I can go ahead and take out. And I'm going to choose to do this with my Tribal Warrior because it's currently a better piece of item than the Bermuda. The Bermuda is an original ranged equipment and the Tribal Warrior was an upgraded item that they offered. So this ranged attack offers 12%. I'm going to go ahead and pull this and pay the thousand gold and replace it with this level five ranged attack. Okay. Before I do this, no, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. All right. So that's in there. Okay, now this right here is a troop defense gem, and I'm going to pull this troop defense gem out of here for another thousand, and I'm going to put in this crystal of frostbite, this, nope, this crystal of bandit to give me an additional 6% attack, okay? So I'm going to lay that in there. And now if we look down here, you see ranged attack on crystal 1, ranged attack on crystal 2, and ranged attack on crystal 3. That is stacking ranged attack. Okay? So... This is what you want to consider when you're placing gems in gear. You want to 
accent the gear itself and create the highest attribute that you are attempting to achieve for the desired objective. If you're playing defense, you want to do the same thing. Okay? So let's look at this defense gear right here. All right? This defense gear is incomplete, but we'll talk about a few of these pieces and why I have chosen them. If you look over here on the right hand side, and you look at each of my different troop type boosts, you see that my infantry attack is at 149%, my cavalry attack is 139%, my ranged attack is 130%, and my troop attack is 14.4 and so on okay troop defense is 168 all right now when I place gems in these items this is my Alvord's hat you can see that my gems are cavalry attack infantry and cavalry attack and troop life those accent the equipment boost of cavalry attack and troop life. We'll look at the second item in my defense set here, which is my raider suit. And you see it gives infantry defense, infantry attack, troop defense, and troop life. When you click on details, you'll see I've added infantry attack, Troop defense and troop life. Because I want my gems to accent my gear. What I have done here is used different pieces of gear to complement each other to provide the highest possible boost and to keep my troop def my troop statistics as even as possible. Now the difference here between these items can be changed with gems. These boots right here have an empty slot and I have infantry attack and cavalry attack in the first gem, cavalry attack in the second gem. Now this third gem, because I'm using this as my defense gear, I'm going to go place one of those big blue shiny troop defense crystals right there and increase my defense. All right, now you see my defense over here has increased to 180%. Okay, this one here is a Colt Walker. Why did I use the Colt Walker? Because the Colt Walker gives troop attack to all three type troops it gives infantry attack cavalry attack and ranged attack okay then i am able to change that i want you to pay close attention right here You see infantry attack is 21 under the equipment boost and ranged attack is 21 but cavalry is only 10.6 so to complement that I put a cavalry gem in to give me an additional 10% which brings it up to a little over 22% and for my other two gems I put troop life and troop defense because this is defense gear and I want to maximize my defense and my troop life by adding that extra cavalry gem in there I'm able to bring my overall stats to a more equal equally balanced numbers 21 22 and 21 okay doing gems is not hard it's just a matter of understanding the proper placement for your objective now in this Bermuda's belt I want to show you this gem this gem right here the third gem gives troop life and troop attack what gem is that that is called a crystal 
of vitality. This gem here is the crystal of vitality and it gives troop life and troop attack. It's a good split gem. Having more attack allows you to kill more troops. Having more defense allows you to lose less troops. I've got my ranged attack gem in the first slot because this is a ranged item. My second gem is a split gem for infantry and ranged. So I'm continuing in the tradition of matching my gems up with my gear and complementing it with third gems where I need the uh, necessary stats. Let's talk about what we should never do. If you look here in this gear, you see this decorated slouch hat has gems in it that shouldn't be. This is a research item. You should never be in combat using research, construction, or training gear. It's economics. It provides no boosts whatsoever to fighting except for, as you see, artillery attack and trap attack here. There are no benefits to your actual troops for wearing this in combat. The owner of this account added an artillery attack gem and a trap attack gem. He understood the idea of keeping your gems in line with your gear, but didn't understand that he would not be using this gear while in combat. And if you were to use a trap attack gem or an artillery attack gem, which I use ne neither of, that this gem would be better placed in combat gear. You should never ever put your gems into your economics gear. And you can see here, this plated coat has a gem in it. It's called a crystal of mystery. The crystal of mystery provides construction speed. And it is in a piece of gear that is construction oriented. So that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. But you go back over here. And we're going to look at these boots. They offer construction speed as a base stat. And trap building speed as a base stat. And you see that he has added infantry attack and cavalry attack split gem. Ranged attacks for Crystal 2 and infantry attack for Crystal 3. I'm going to do him a favor. He has already authorized me to use as much gold as I would like. So I'm going to take those out. And I'm going to let those, not, those gems stay in my inventory to be able to combine them at a later date for a higher quality gem. We'll look right here at our Bermuda shotgun. And you will see that it is a cavalry attack, cavalry defense, and troop defense type of equipment. And he has a cavalry attack gem in there, but it's only 2%. So I'm going to take that out of there because we don't put gems less than level 3 or level 4 in our gear, okay? Now we've cleared up that gear a little bit. I'm not going to waste the gold to pull these out because to pull out this level 5 gem it's going to cost 2000 gold and this guy is good enough about maintaining his shield and swapping out his gear that that's not going to be a problem so i'm just going to leave these gems in here because i don't want to use the gold to take them out if he decides to do this on his own then he will all right now, there's one other thing I want to discuss with you before I let you go tonight. And that is... This. I'm going to use my filter 
And I'm going to click Stamina, Outlaw, and Sheriff. Just to make sure I get them all. And now I've got all of my... Monster Enforcer gear pulled up. Now you see in the Reno Shotgun... There's a level 5 construction gym in there. Very good. Even though the equipment only gives stone, silver, and sheriff EXP boost, he was thinking because Reno's is a construction set that he would place that in there, not realizing that there were other items that give actual construction. So, this is going to be an expensive lesson. It's going to cost 5,000 gold to pull that out. But it's gone now. Because it can be better used in a different item. We're going to look at this enforcer mask right here. And you see that there's a construction gem in it. But the enforcer equipment is used for killing minions. You want to put these construction items in your construction gear. Okay? Now, let's look at something. And uncheck all these and click on our construction and see what we have we have our Reno sombrero with a level 6 gem that does not give any construction speed just trap building wood production and sheriff exp let's go ahead and snatch that out of there too all right now we have the Colonel Swift hat, which gives 20% construction speed. And I'm going to go right down here and drop one of these level 6 crystals of mystery in there. And increase it an additional 5%. Okay. Now, I want you to all understand that when you are doing your gems, if you don't put the gems in the proper places it's going to be very costly later on when you go back and try to remove them I don't know if you saw how much gold I had before I started doing this but I assure you it was about 63 68 thousand something in there you can go back and check later okay now you see the quill pin it's good it has a construction gem in a construction item the Reno's Boots, Construction Gym, Construction Item. The Chief's Revolver gives 8 minutes construction time reduction. The Single Barrel Shotgun gives 1.7% construction time reduction. I'm going to go ahead and drop this Level 4 Crystal of Mystery right up in there. And increase the construction speed on that item okay so please remember when you're doing your gear and you're doing your gems to please match your gems up to the gear and to stay focused with the overall objective that you're trying to achieve that's all for now it's been a real pleasure taking this time to show you a little bit about your equipment and gems and I really hope that this helps some people because I've had a lot of people ask for help with this. If you have any more suggestions or would like to know more information, please just write in the comments below and let me know. And I'll be glad to help you out. You guys have a great day and I will see you on the next video. This is West Game Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Mickey Freeman. I'm signing out. I'm trying to sign out. There we go. Something happened. Oh my goodness. My app is freezing.